and a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a message of to you. Again. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is what releases faith to create the substance of your hope. For instance, the woman with the issue of blood had um, had this predicament in her blood. You know, she had this hemorrhage for over 11 to 12 years and she hoped that one day she was going to be okay. Is it correct? She believed, she hoped that one day she was going to be okay. So she continued to trust until she heard of Jesus, that Jesus was the moving mobility of the presence of the Lord because we, we, faith, faith is activated where the presence of God is present. Okay? Uh, the, the ability to activate the presence of, of God brings about the faith for the miraculous. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews 11 verse 3, through faith, we understand that the words were framed by the word of God. So, faith is the mobility of God's power or force that brings to manifestation the manifesto of God's purposes. So, God wants you to be healed. God wants to heal you, okay? And God has healed you in Christ. God wants to heal you, and he's healed you in Christ. God wants to deliver you, and he's delivered you in Christ. But here's the point. To have your healing manifest on your body and to have the deliverance manifest in the physical dimensions would require a certain manifestation of the presence of the Lord which is the portal the portal that releases the faith that creates the substance of your hope all right so now always look at places or principles or certain laws of the spirit that provoke, cultivate, or activate the manifest presence of the Lord. Where God's presence is made manifest, there's a release of faith. And where there is faith, faith is sent to tackle, to create your expectations. Are you, are you with me, sons of God? So the woman with the issue of blood uh, knew that Jesus was the mobility, the, the moving presence of the Lord or God on, on motion. So where, 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 wherever God's presence is made manifest or whoever that carries a certain manifested presence of God carries faith. And where there is faith, hope is fulfilled. Now remember, the Bible spoke of someone called Peter. When Peter uh, understood how to live constantly, two for seven, 366 degree, uh, days in a year, he became the, the portal of God's presence. Wherever he was, God's presence was manifest. And people began to tap into the manifest presence of God on the life of Peter because Peter was the mobility of God's faith. So the hope of people were fulfilled. Those that were blind hoped to see one day and when they perceived that Peter was in the street who was a custodian of a certain anointing of the Holy Spirit, they ran to him and the moment they came in contact with the atmosphere that Peter carried, boom, they got their expectations, their hopes were fulfilled. So when, while you're gathering your hope 
trust in the Lord for some kind of tangible manifestation of a miracle. Always look at for moments, places where the presence of the Lord is made manifest. If the presence of the Lord is there. Are you hearing me? Where the presence of the Lord is, that is where you have the faith, the anointing of the Holy Spirit that creates the substance of your hope. And the message from the Lord, hallelujah, is the message of the